Before I jump into the main topic, here is an important detail. If you are preparing for a tech role, then you must choose a solid career track. Visit sandfoundry.com slash training to know more. Uh, dear friends, uh, in this particular example, uh, I am going to talk about uh, another specific uh, problem. Uh, this problem surrounds, uh, you know, around our operator use, use of various operators in our expressions, right? So, uh, you can see in this example, we have assigned two variables x and y with values of 1. And then we are trying to do some uh, post increment and pre increment. You can see a post increment here and you can see a pre increment operation uh, with a conditional if statements. And then we have a logical or operation here, right? So a lot of uh, complexity have been added in this particular if statement, okay? So you are going to, uh, you know, deduce the answer with your logic for values of x and y. So let's go ahead and try to pause this video now. Analyze your code for a for few seconds and then try to arrive at your answer. Once it is done, then we will jump into the lab exercise. Okay. So let's uh, jump into the lab activities uh, to understand it fairly more clearly actually. Okay, so I am just jumping into the lab exercise. So let's see what is uh, the answer that we can see for this particular program. You can see that we have uh, the values here. Okay, as it is, I'll just modify it for, for the sake of readability. So I will make sure that we put a backslash n here right so we are adding a new line so the answers get repeated what when, when we run this code you will see that you know the answers sometimes are slightly different than what we expected so we got we got two comma one right so we got two and we got one so i would want to know whether you really got it two or one or is it like two or two or something else isn't it basically now, a lot of people have been conditioned to, you know, think in terms of uh, how to evaluate an expression. So whenever you see in an expression, you have this portion, all of a sudden you see that the expression has basically a pre-increment operation on a Y, right? Yeah, so pre-increment will be needed for certain conditional expressions here, okay? Pre-increment is definitely needed, but will it really get evaluated depends on this particular logic, okay? So to make it more clear, let me now explain the code here, right? So I think the problem that many of you might see is uh, in terms of, uh, you know, why the value of y is not 2, isn't it? Because we have to do pre-increment, that's what we assume. But when we, when we evaluate an expression, we have to understand certain additional things that this expression contains only one portion plus plus y and where is it? Is it somewhere here or somewhere here or here? So its position in the expression plays an important role, right? How compiler evaluates it. So let's take this example. So what you see here is there are two portions here, okay? So first portion is x plus plus greater than equals to zero so this is the first portion of the expression which is slightly complex right this is first portion what is the second portion second portion is basically your plus plus y right so i'm putting certain brackets so that we can have more clarity about this expression now right so there are two parts we do this we do this, right? So just remember the two parts. I have put a bracket here for, for, for ease of readability, right? Basically, so this is the bracket. Now, when you are doing a if condition, we are evaluating from here, right? In this style, you can see here, right? So we are evaluating here. Let's try to evaluate this particular expression. So the compiler check if the value of x is greater than or equal to zero. So the original value of x is one. So he will, this is the post increment operator. So what happens is we are trying to do a substitution here. So substitution says is one greater than equals to zero. I think that's where our substitution is, right? 
and then later the value of x because it has substituted and then it is going to be incremented so the value of x at this point of time became 2 as you can see okay so value of x has become 2 which is perfectly fine so the value of x will be 2 here right so you see the value of x is 2 now we have substituted the value 1 so the condition is the condition true or not true right that is important to know is the condition true yes the condition is absolutely true right if the condition is true 1 greater than 0 yeah greater than equal to 0 yeah it's greater than so it is true if this is true then there's a something known as short circuit rule right so there's something known as short circuit short circuit rule or logic right logic or conditional expressions for conditional uh, conditional expressions or you know for various logic right basically what is the short conditional expressions you know for logic gates right so you can see that this is an uh, this is a uh, or this is a or as a logic right so you know that this is one condition other condition so if any of the argument of a logical or is true then the answer is true right so if this is true then the compiler is not going to evaluate it because you know that the logic gate here is a conditional or if it is an or if the result is true then the entire expression result will be true so it, it did a short so basically it did a short circuit right uh, it did a, a short circuit so it never evaluated this because this has become true since it never evaluated this then we are not going to do plus plus y anyways we won't do it okay basically so the y remains one since the y remains one you know that what the printf is going to print now printf will print two and then one here and that is what we saw right so when we compile this code you see the value of x and then two and then one so let's wait we will do one more variation on this okay how do we make sure that the entire expression is evaluated right so just to make sure that what we are saying makes sense the short circuit rule right in terms of conditional expression for logic gates we will invert this we will make sure that the result of this is false the result of this is false so that it is forced to go here right so how do we make sure the result of this is false you know that one greater than equal to zero is always true so we will just make sure that you know we will just do a reverse of that so we will do a less than equal to zero so i am modifying it i made it less than equal to zero is one less than equal to zero never right so this this is going to be a false if this is false and this is a gate right this is a gate so this is again a or logic gate so since this is false it is going to go into the other part to make sure that you know it is evaluating the complete expression you know basically because it has to continue there so if i do this you know that it will go to the other part which is the right side of that expression okay when you compile this yes now here the answer is different because what you see is you see the value as 2 now why as we already explained you right okay so as i already explained to you that this is false so it has to go here to make sure that it evaluates the full expression to get to this condition right so i think this is what you need to you need to understand you know sometimes we write a code in fact we do a lot of scripting also where we have a lot of ors and and operations you know where condition is true stop condition is false continue that kind of logic this is really really very important logic okay in programming let's make one more variation okay so since you have understood these two part let's focus on this i will make it as a ampersand right double ampersand so i am now converting it into a and logic gate okay so any idea what will be the answer for the and logic gate here so i will give you a few seconds to work on this and then i will compile this since this is an and gate so our expression if you really see here you know so if you see this expression so the the new expression what i am covering here is less than equal to and then i am talking about a and gate right so logical and says that both arguments has to be true for the eventual outcome to be true if any one of this is false either this is false or this is false the outcome is going to be false anyways okay so let's compile this code now 
so just a second yeah so we are going to compile this and then we'll do an a dot out so when i compile this code you saw a dot out as nothing okay so let me run once again see we have to be very careful in our programming right basically so let's see a dot out is nothing so why it is nothing is what is interesting in fact it never entered into this loop in this sorry in this condition why because the question is is it true or false so the value of x is 1 so 1 substituted and then x becomes 2 but less than equal to 0 is 1 less than equal to 0 it's false right if the answer of this is false then the AND gate says that if my operand one of the operand is uh, false there is no need for eval for me to evaluate the other side because anyway the answer is going to be false okay so the short circuit rule again applied here so he never evaluated this he just said yeah this is false then the entire expression is false if the entire if condition is false will it enter into this the answer is it won't enter there so the output is practically nothing however if you want to still validate your understanding you can take this printf lines once again down after the if just to display the value of x and y right so we'll do that as a last cut now we'll take these two uh, printf's outside here right so we are doing outside okay so we'll do printf and we say we are outside the if condition right we'll say we'll say that so that we know that it is this printf is coming below actually from here right okay so we are outside we'll display the value of x and y so let me compile this we'll do an a dot out and then we are outside so the value of x became 2 condition became false so there is no need to evaluate for a other logic gate which is an ampersand right basically it's a logical and gate and so it never evaluated the value of y so y is still the value 1 so as you can see that right basically uh, you you have to be you know uh, understanding uh, the implications of lot of gates here basically and how evaluation uh, uh, expressions are evaluated right so uh, thank you very much uh, for watching this video and I will see you in another video.